Um, we'll go straight to questions, uh, beginning with Joe Becker, K2. Hey, Zach, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Uh, first, I want to ask you, how exciting is it for you personally to go back uh, to L.A. and play this game? Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, I Last year, I got in, I think, a couple of minutes against the Galaxy. Uh, the first time we played there last year, I think I had a, about 100 family and friends that came to the game. It was really exciting. Um, but, you know, it's something special going this weekend, uh, playing at LAFC since I'll, I'll be starting this weekend. And, uh, you know, just try to put in a good performance in front of uh, my friends and family. Go to Paul Danzer, Portland Tribune. Zach, what did you learn last week playing, starting at home and getting that experience? What do you take from that in terms of building your, your experience as a pro? Yeah, I mean, I think every game I, I play in is going to be a learning experience. Um, playing with Bill has been great. We have a good... Uh, we have good chemistry and, you know, just getting more game time, game minutes, first team minutes under my belt. <clears throat> you learn something new every game, just by the way, people, uh, the opposing team plays, they press how they, their defensive shape, their offensive shape, uh, different playing styles like Buk's, uh, um big, strong, lethal in the air. And just, you know, every game is a different experience. So I think I'm learning and growing every, every game. Give a code to Ryan Clark, Oregonian. Hey, Zach. Uh, just wanted to ask you about the, the memories that might uh, pop up for you when, when you go back to L.A., um, maybe about your youth career or, or any, anything that comes to mind uh, when, when you go back home. Yeah, so when I was in college and I had time off, me and my dad actually uh, caught a game probably back in 2019. Um, and it was it was cool. I have a cool setup, cool atmosphere. They're right in the heart of LA, next to the Coliseum. And I've, you know, been to many USC games there. Played, obviously, soccer tournaments all throughout the Los Angeles area. And being able to go back this weekend, it's going to be a lot of fun. They have a good uh, fan base, so it's going to be an intense game, uh, high high intensity, uh, high spirit. You know, their fan base is really loud the whole ninety minutes of the game. It's just going to be really exciting, I think. And we'll go back to Ryan. Uh, another question I had for you was, uh, what, what do you think it's going to take uh, to slow down uh, LAFC's attack this weekend, given uh, how well they've played early on? Yeah, they're very lethal on the counterattack. I think everyone in the league knows that. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, tr being smart defensively, being smart of how many numbers we send forward because they have, uh, you know, great players in Carlos Vela, Brian Rodriguez, Apoku and Aranga might be coming back this weekend. So um, it's really just a matter of um, being smart of who we send forward, how we send forward, and who we bring back. Um, they're, they're a lethal team on the counter. Everyone knows it. Okay, we'll go to Ari. Go ahead, Ari. Hey, Zach, thanks for the time. Um, so obviously Seattle is considered your guys' primary rival, but in recent years, it seems like a pretty good rivalry has developed between Portland and LAFC. Uh, seems like there's always high scoring games, very intense games. Um, does it does it seem like uh, th that a kind of Western Conference rivalry dynamic uh, has developed between these two teams? Yeah, you know, I think every game we, we've played them in the past since I've been here, it's been very high intensity um, goals on each end, you know, coming back from behind. Uh, I, if I recall, we went there last year and we scored late to make it uh, 2 1. Or, yeah, 2 1 or 1 0, I believe. And it, it's just the whole 90 minutes. It's, it's who, who can capitalize on opportunities, um, who minimizes mistakes. So I think, it, I think obviously we play once home, once away. And they're, they're a great team. Um, we're a good team. So it's a, you know, it's a battle. It's a rivalry, I, I think, um, in every capacity. Okay, we'll close it up with Joe Becker. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, Zach, you've been playing for a long time. And I was just curious uh, how much you're enjoying the game now at this point in your life. Yeah, I mean, it. Um, you know, youth soccer and college soccer and the professional level, they're, they're all different in some way, um, whether that be – 
uh, you know, intensity, playing style, speed of play. But I, I mean, just coming into practice and playing against some of the best players in the country and, you know, foreign players who've played at the highest level, uh, you know, coming in and Larice kind of mentoring me. He's growing up at the, he grew up at the PSG Academy. Dario played in Italy at a high level. Bill um, going through Marseille in France when he was younger. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely different in the sense where um, you're, you're surrounding and who you're next playing against, learning from playing with. Uh, so every day you learn something new in a, in a sense. Bill's giving me tips. Um, you know, even even now in practice, today in practice, he's just giving me little tips to, you know, keep me keep me sharp, keep me aware and, you know, uh, trying to elevate my game as much as possible.